Yeah, and just doing a quick screen share of my Mercury card back office. Um, I originally did a, a withdrawal to my Citibank account number here, okay, for $1,685 on the 12th of May. For some reason, um, my Mercury card not accepting my Citibank um, proof of bank statement for whatever reason. It, it does show the IBAN and SWIFT code. It's completely uncropped. For some reason, they're not accepting it. So I've just uploaded now another... Um, another of my bank statements called nationwide okay i've uploaded that to the account and um let me show you that um there you go it's in pending okay i've uploaded my um nationwide third of june as you can see nationwide account number okay and it's less than 90 days it's completely up to date it's actually uh, just uh, four weeks in date so i'm waiting for this to be approved but my original withdrawal was done to Citibank, okay? So I'm gonna cancel this withdrawal if I can and restart the withdrawal process. And um, I'm gonna cancel this 1,685 and then restart the, um, the withdrawal notice, okay? So let's see how I can do this. There you go, that was the original card, it, the withdrawal, it was, I'm trying to withdraw to. Okay, my Citibank. I'm going to cancel this, delete. Okay, that's been deleted, okay. Let's have a look at my dashboard to see if the money's been re-added to my account there it looks like my balance is $1,730 now so let's see if I can withdraw to this account now right it's not letting me It's not let me withdraw to this account. This is all grayed off, as you can see. Okay. All right. Okay. I managed to change that. Just two seconds. So I've changed that now to my new bank account, GB73. This is my nationwide account. Okay. I've uploaded this bank statement to the back office. They already already got my passport and. Um, Driving license has been approved. Just checking these details are right here, the SWIFT code. Looks all okay. 0701143. Yeah, this all looks fine. So I'm going to withdraw the full amount to this now, see what happens, okay? Confirm transfer. Here we go, confirm. The input was not a correct number. Okay, I get that. I missed that there, 1730.58. Confirm. Okay, I got a knock off $43, so what will that be? 1,700, 1,690, 1,686, let's try that. They charge me £43 of fee. There you go. That's all done. Let me just complete transfer. complete transfer there you go your transfer is successful okay 
So let's see how how they manage this one. I've been waiting about a month now to try and transact, make a transaction. Let's go back to my profile, my documents. As you can see, they've, they've approved my passport and this is my driver license here. I've got two approvals. But now they're asking, I don't know why they want a driver license and a passport. They only asked for one first of all, then they asked for another one. But now they're asking for my bank statement. Okay. Um, they kept saying here that my there was a missing IBIN, an IBAN code on my original statement, but there wasn't. It was clearly there. I'm not sure if this is delay tactics just to not pay me. But there's nothing wrong with this statement. You can guarantee this um, pending uh, nationwide bank statement is absolutely guaranteed within the last few weeks. I've received the statement, an original copy from the bank, and I've taken a photograph of it with my camera. Let me show you if I can um, show you a picture of that to show that it's very clear. Here we go, it's this one here, 9133. There you go. It doesn't come much clearer than that, okay? Taking a Photoshop, of a screenshot of it on my desk. It's completely uncropped. This is on my desk, on my workshop, on my um, desktop rather, on my office desk rather. My name and address is there. There's the IBAN and SWIFT code there, and the BIC code. So they can um, they can zoom in on this, okay? Let me just show you a zoom. There you go. Very very clear. There's the IBAN and SWIFT code there. So my account number and SOAR code is there. My address is there. My name is there. Everything is there, okay? This is completely. 100% for real. Well, I'm hoping they're not going to pick holes in the fact that it's got two little holes there for um, paper paper punch holes, okay? So that is it. I can't do any more, guys. If, if they're not gonna, if they're not prepared to send me this money then basically i'm classing um get my ads as a, as a complete scam if they're not able to let me to withdraw this money let me log into my get my ads back office to show you my situation right now i've stopped promoting this guys because what's going on so um the, of the length of time is taking to withdraw i can't bring people into a program when it takes this long to withdraw okay I've got another 1,431 to withdraw here as well. Now, if, if they had be, uh, kept paying me regularly, I would have reused this money and repurchased more. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I have to use this $160 here, okay, to, to um, buy three more tokens, which I do. Like this, click on three, click on buy. Pay with credits, click on pay. There you go, that's congratulations. I have three new tokens. As you can see, that's gone back down to $10. I'm not repurchasing with this. I'm using, again, I'm going to withdraw this. I'm up to 207 ad packs right now. I could have been on a lot more, but I haven't. I've stopped building this and bringing people into this because they're just so slow on paying out. It doesn't give me that much confidence. I'm going to use those three tokens. I want to send traffic to them, okay? Which, um, what you do, you click on my tokens like this, click on activate traffic. And then you um, you put in a link here. There you go. Just waiting for that to validate. One. 
I just stopped the video there for a few seconds. Um, it's come back as item not found, so that's a strange one. That hasn't happened before. So let me just take a look here. Um, for some reason, um, one, of, one of those tokens didn't go through for whatever reason, so that's just stuck in pending the looks of it. But anyway, that is the situation right now. Okay, um, I'm hoping like this withdrawal comes through. If it does, then I can carry on building this business. If it doesn't, then um, I have to close this down as a, as a scam. Okay. So keep in touch, guys, and um, hopefully we can sort this out. This third of June now, 2017. Okay. And let's wait to hear from my Mercury card to see what how they are. I'm not sure what their relationship is with Get My Ads. Whether they are all in on the same thing, or if it's, if it's a completely separate company, I, I don't know. I haven't checked that. But um, I'm hoping that this pending gets approved here, and that I get my um, let's have a look withdraw money, and I get this. Um, here we go. Uh, one thousand six hundred eighty-six dollars withdrawal. Okay, third of June. Let's see how this goes, and I'll keep in touch. Okay, cheers, out. Yeah.